Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming through. If you are new to my channel, my name is Naka Friedel, aka Naka F, and I welcome you all to my channel. So there's been a video that I've been promising to post and Happy New Year, by the way. Um, and I'm going to post it, well, right now, obviously. Um, I was supposed to do a couple of videos in the last couple of weeks, but I will be 150% honest with you and let you know that I didn't know the holidays were gonna hit me as hard as they did. And I didn't know I was gonna cry as much as I did, but I did. And I just wasn't up to doing anything. And then I was just like, I'm gonna start this new year and be consistent because that's what I've always wanted to do. And there's no reason why I can't manifest waking up and being consistent despite you know how I feel. Hey y'all, tapping in from the future. This is my work mode, study mode look majority of the time. But I was editing this video and I realized that my camera was not stable. So I do apologize in advance if you got a little dizzy, the camera was doing a little shimmying and shaking. And I still hope you were able to watch and you got the information you needed on sizing. I'll talk to you soon, bye. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over five pairs of high-end heels that I own um, and talk about sizing because I have wide feet. I have wide feet and a lot of high-end shoes tend to cater to people who have narrow feet and high arches, which I have neither of those. Um, so I'm gonna talk about sizing because a lot of times when you have wider feet or your, your feet are on the wider uh, part of the spectrum, um, usually we'll have to size up or you know, if they have it in wide, then you go with wide, et cetera. But very few high end that I'm interested in anyway, um, come in like a wider size um, or wider option. Either way, I love my shoes. I love my shoes. So number one, we have Manolo Blahnik. I'm a true size eight. I'm pretty much a size eight in almost everything. So size eight shoe, size eight pants, size eight shirt, size eight ring size, ring size. Okay. Um, so it's, it's very easy for me to remember my sizes for the most part. Um, but so in this specific heel, I got a size 38. And normally I wouldn't get a size 38 in high-end shoes. I would normally go up a, up a half a size, sometimes a whole size. Um, but in the Manolo Bonics, I go with a 38. Um, and if you watched my previous video, I also discussed the difference between ordering it directly from the Manolo Blahnik website and then ordering it from a secondary store like Bergdorf's or um, Saks or um, I think Brown's, like it's a UK department store. Um, if you order it from there, it, it might be, it might it most likely run smaller. Um, so let's say you wanted the shoe and they only had it at Bergdorf's or they only had it at some other store that wasn't specifically Manolo Blahnik, you would most likely have to go up to a 38.5. But the, I would say the Manolo Blahniks run perfect. They run true true to size um and again i have wide feet and i still went with a 38 and i love the 38 um okay so that is ooh, clearly i've been wearing them okay so and yellow is my favorite color so you know i had to go with the yellow okay all right so that is manolo blonic so for my next shoe um i'm going with the so kate's from christian louboutin and like when I tell you, I, and I've worn these, oh, I've worn these, and yet they don't look so bad at the bottom, huh? Because I can only wear them for so long. And it's interesting because when I'm like in shape, when I'm working out, when I'm jogging, not running, when I'm jogging, when I'm really like getting exercise with my legs, I can wear heels like this for a decent amount of time. Um, so for the Socates, 
because I'm only speaking solely about the sew case because I only have, I only have sew cates. I have a few, but I only have sew cates. Why? Because the cut is very sexy and despite, again, having a wider foot, it still makes my foot look very, very, okay? And that's why I love them. I got them for $4.19 and I, and it was, it was literally meant to be because when I first saw them, I was like, oh my God, I have to have them because you can see like it's a, it's a, a shift, a holographic type of shift. And I was just like, no, I need these in my life. And then they only had the Dorsays and I don't like, door again, if you have wide feet, you can understand why I don't like Dorsays. I don't like Dorsay pumps because your feet end up kind of squeezing out. I don't know what's going on with all these special effects, my apologies, but I need my feet to be held in, not be able to spill out. That's just personally for me. Um, but to get to the point, sizing, again, I'm a, I'm a size 38. I went to a 38.5 in the Socates. Number three on the list, my Yves Saint Laurent YSL heels. Yes, they have sparkle on them. Oh, let me take this out. These were supposed to be my birthday shoes, but also if you know me, you know I'm not like the biggest fan of black. Um, like I don't really like to wear black clothes and I'm saying this holding up a black heel and wearing a black sweatshirt. I get it. Um, but I'm more of a very like, I love to wear color. Um, I wear black very seldom in comparison to how much I wear color. Um, but so that's kind of why I didn't go with these sandals for my birthday, even though they're a beautiful birthday sandal. I actually, the first time I wore the sandal was to my mom's funeral. My mom has always been a staple, stylish lady. And I was just like, I'm gonna say goodbye in style. And so I did. And I wore this with a Marchesa uh, dress. And, you know, I, I, I would have made her proud. I would say. Um, love, 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 love these heels. Love, love, love these heels. They are so pretty. They are also so painful. They are so painful. <laughs> they are so painful. Um, and I mean, I, again, I can't really, these are satin, so I can't speak to um, like the popular uh, gold emblem patent leather. Uh, I wonder if those are even more painful, but and it really is the skinny strap. Like, I don't know who can wear these comfortably. Not one human being that has feeling in their feet. Not one, not one. Like, this is wild. It's so beautiful and yet you can't really wear it. This is very much a sit down shoe. Very much a sit down shoe. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go with the 39 and I did and I love it in the 39. I wouldn't change it. Um, I think the 39 works perfectly for me. And I would recommend doing half a, half a size to a size up. And obviously in this case, I did a size up and I think it was the best thing for me. Number four on my list. These were actually my birthday sandal. And if you thought that the YSLs were painful, let me show you the most painful shoe on planet Earth, okay? I, I'm even gonna just show you the box because the presentation is so beautiful. Like the shoes are a little plain, but the box, you, you pay for the presentation of the box. Look at it, look at it. It's velvet. The box is velvet. And it's so gorgeous. Like when you open it, it just, it feels like luxury. It feels like luxury. The shoes are, huh. Okay, so these were my birthday shoes. I'm not trying these on right now. I'll, I'll put, I'll insert a picture of me on my birthday, uh, which is June 16th. I'm a Gemini all day, every day. Um, here we are. Here we are. And this is, this can, I didn't actually tie it all the way up to my knee. It can go up to your knee. I kind of just wrapped it a million times around my ankles. Um, very plain, sexy. This shoe is sexy. If you thought the YSL 
strap was painful. Oh, I'm sorry, did I even tell you the brand? This this is a Katie Biltoft shoe. Katie Biltoft is a UK brand. Um, shoes are sexy. They are all sexy and they are all basically like this height. This is a shoe, this is a heel, okay? And I was very obsessed with brown over the summer, still am. Um, and so I was like, I think I wanna do a brown fit for my birthday. It's not really what I wanted to do, but I was like, uh, I don't wanna get any, I don't wanna get a new dress. So I just got, used what I already had in my closet. So I was like, let me just do a full brown, full brown. I got a size 39 in these. Um, they look very small, but I think that's basically because of this arch, this high thing over here. And again, me not having like high arches, this was, you know, it's kind of like, uh, my feet were kind of like this, kind of, sort of. And then like, if I'm pressing down, then my feet would go like that. But I'm sure that it just looked painful with my hand. So imagine what it looks like with the feet. Imagine. But I got a size 39 in this and I definitely would never have gotten a 38. This was like literally almost perfect. I think my toe came to like here. I think my toe came to like right here. If you're, if you are 38, um, and I don't, I don't believe they come in half sizes. I think it's, it's full sizes. I would always size up to a 39. Size up to, size up. Whatever you are, size up. You, I don't know if you see like the metal parts here. This is all suede, it's all suede. And then these parts I think are 14 karat gold. That's number four. And we got one more shoe. So last but certainly not least, number five on my list. Um, pretty much one of my favorite shoes to wear. Uh, the Giuseppe Zanotti, um, oh my God, it's like, I forget, why am I forgetting the names right now? It's like, it's like I know the name and I, and I don't have the box here. So, okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, Betty. Betty. Rest in peace, Betty White. The Betty heel. This is, that's what it's called. Okay. I first saw this in black on Evelyn Lozada in one of like the basketball wives reunions. And I was like, oh, I need that shoe. Then when I went to the website and I saw that they came in this color and look at the beautiful crystals all over. Oh my God. In terms of sizing, here's, here's where I gotta get a little bit more specific. In terms of sizing, I got a 39 in these. I I think with Giuseppe Zanotti, I would probably prefer to get a 38.5 in the future. I ever get another Betty, then I would totally get a 38.5. And it could also be because I'm taking care of my feet more, transparency for a, a brief moment. Like I used to have like a lot of calluses and stuff like that. I've been really learning to take care of myself and take care of my feet. And I think that that's why like there's a little more space. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I got a 39 in these, depending on the cut, uh, if it's, if it's a more slimmer heel, um, if you know, cause like if it's a slimmer heel, your feet are going to be pushed down even more, you know what I mean? Versus a platform. Let's say you have the, this part is just going to be all the way to the ground. I would probably size up to a 39 so that you have more space for your, you know, your foot to go. But in a platform where your feet are kind of like in much better position, I would personally go for 38.5 in the future. We have made it to the end of this video. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much for your love, your support. I wish you all a happy new year. I wish myself a happy new year. Um, for me personally, I'm not sure, nor do I wanna find out if 2022 can be any worse than losing my mom in 2021. But I am trying to be optimistic and trying to look forward to lots of promise and lots of fortune ahead. And um, let's just make, let's just make history 2022. But that is it for this video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.